Here you go, Gordon. Okay. This is our Barney. Okay. And Thank um, you. I see you already have a knife and fork. So yes. Enjoy Thank the you. the onions are homemade. Right. And, um, enjoy. Great. Thank you. Wait, the onions are homemade. Look at that for hot dog. Do you know what I mean? That is gross. There's more wrinkles in there than it is in my granddad. And he's been dead for 10 years. He's looking at his hot dog. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face when he walked away. It was bad. When I think about hot dogs, they should be, you know, fat, juicy, delicious. This thing is blistered and wrinkled, reminiscent of a bison's Wow. That is terrible. Oh my God. It's just flavorless. It tastes of chemicals and it's just very, very salty. I'm feeling stressed. I don't think he's happy at all. There's no way that this hot dog put this restaurant on the map. Look at it. So I can find better hot dogs at four o'clock in the morning in Times Square. That is just absolutely shocking. The bad news is I've got another one coming. Hello. How are you today? How are you? Good. And first name is? Mary Kate. Mary Kate, nice to meet you. Nice you good? To meet you. Uh, I'm done with that. I've got the Chicago dog coming next. May I have some fresh coffee, please? Of course, I'll be back with that. Okay, here is our Chicago. Thank you. Dog with pickle, tomato, onions, pepper, and celery salt. Oh, good cracks on that one. Blood hell. This is really lazy. Honestly. I've had a lot of dogs in my time, but this one has to beat it. I mean, it tastes rubbery. How are we doing? The crack on this one was bigger than the Grand Canyon. <laughs> No, it's just rubbery. Yeah, not good. Wow. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got it. Hi. Good? No. He just was not happy with it. Wow. That's disappointing. Hey, Jake. Gordon's reaction to our Chicago dog. OK. He said that the whole overall dog was just very disappointing. OK. The kind of person that Jake is, he is on the quieter side. But the reality of it is, is that I don't think he cares that much. Just letting you know. That's Jake and his ordering, I guess. I mean, you yeah. own the place. It's I, I didn't hear part. you. What? You do own the restaurant, so if something's wrong, it no, is. I understand you can't blame that, but Jake. That's, well, I'm not blaming him. You but did I'm just blame Jake. You just said that's Jake and his ordering. My ex-husband's girlfriend always yells at me. I feel bullied and heard. This has to change, or I'm going to blow up. You need to talk but to him. But he does the food ordering. But you own the we restaurant. We can have this conversation later. Thank you. Whew. I've come for a hot dog. I feel like I'm in therapy.